Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Bonte Garage, and today we are doing another build, well, project on the Civic Si. Yo, look at this guy. He looking good, bruh. That really changes everything right there. My banner's crooked, but no big deal. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah, we are going to be doing a trunk wrap because we want to do the test before we go big and go for the roof. So the roof currently looks like this. It is terrible. When I washed the car for the first time, that stuff just got dust everywhere. The clear is just coming off like crazy. So we're gonna be doing the trunk because it is very similar, just a little less crazy. So I'm gonna be sanding down the trunk today and wrap it in gloss black to match the rest of the car. Cause the only bad parts is kind of sort of the top of this, but I feel like this is savable if I get somebody to cut and buff it or I just practice a cut and buff on it. And this guy needs to be done for sure. The roof's KO'd and the hood's pretty beat up. Like you can see all the paint chips everywhere on there. Car looks good, but that's definitely an eyesore. The trunk's definitely an eyesore. The hood's an eyesore, but maybe we'll get carbon fiber stuff. Maybe we'll get a carbon fiber trunk. But for now, we're definitely gonna do the trunk before we do the roof. I just need to make sure I have enough wrap. Luckily, it looks a lot shorter than I thought it would be. We're gonna go ahead and get to the trunk. I do have a piece of gloss black wrap in the laundry room. I got it laid out, measure it out, and make sure everything fits. So let me go grab my measuring tape. Oh, I guess. There we go. Let's measure this up real quick. Let's go. Go a little bit in front of there. So I'll say 68. In the trunk, I need 13. So I need 81. All right. Let's go measure out this piece in the house. We definitely have enough. All right, so we got the piece. It's a little beat up. Hopefully I don't need to cut off more. I should inspect at the top, because you see this one has like a weird blemish in the protective layer, but we're gonna be okay. We're gonna leave that there for now and we're gonna go reverse park the Civic in the garage. Nah, we'll just do it back here. We got enough room. But first things first, we're gonna remove the spoiler from the trunk. That way we have all that room. Luckily, we're just wrapping this little piece. So we'll just get the best part possible. Don't mind the mess. All right, so it looks like a 10, a 10. Looks like just four. Four and then pull it straight up. Took a while to find my damn ranch. That's why I keep your garage and organize it. Just gonna lay it across where I pulled them out from into the press. Pretty sure we got everything to remove this guy. I'm just gonna pull it up. That ripped out way faster than I thought it would. I don't even know if this thing works anymore. This is like a random wire sticking out of here. Let me go see if I can find where it came from. Damn, that sucks. Oh, I see where it comes from. I'm gonna turn it back now. We'll fix it. All right, so now we are at this point. It's a little dirty, but what can you expect? It's never been off the car. So I'll clean up this area really well and then we'll get to sanding. I also need to close the car up so it doesn't get all dirty inside. All I have is detailing spray, so I'm gonna mask off these sides. Wow, dude, the paint's just like terrible all the way down. That sucks. All right, so I'm gonna go grab my PPE and then we're gonna go start sanding. I'm gonna be using 320 grit. So I'm using this bad boy. But I need to mask off this edge just so we don't hit it and make it worse. I'm gonna do three layers so that it's nice and thick. You can never have enough layers. Connecting my vacuum to this bad boy. Well, we 
we went over the whole trunk because turns out the whole trunk was pretty bad. So we're gonna go wipe this whole thing down nice and thoroughly. I'm gonna ask for my brother's help and we're gonna go lay down this wrap. Well, don't know where my clean rags are. So. Oh, I need a blow down this whole thing. All right guys, before we wrap this thing, let's go check this out. That's what it looks like. We got low spots because I wanted it to be as smooth as possible. That doesn't feel terrible. The goal is to have it not be very visible. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these micro dots and stuff. So we're about to find out, but either way, I think it looks way better than it was. This is just a tester. We might replace this guy in the long run anyways. So this is all about the roof. We're gonna do one last wipe off and then we're gonna go peel the wrap. Oh. Oh, Next thing, we're gonna go peel the wrap off, heat it up because it looks a little beat up, and then we're gonna go apply it. I'm an amateur, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So we're gonna trim right here. We're gonna lay this down as flat as we can, as close as we can. Then we're gonna pull this guy back, lay this down, trim that guy off, pull that back, lay that down, boom. Just do that to the whole entire thing. Let's see. Try to pull out any imperfections. If you guys got any tips before I hit my roof, let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, the corners look satisfactory. I'll take that. Ooh. Nice. So the wire broke off. I'm gonna fix that real quick, then we're gonna slap it on. I'm embarrassed, so I'm gonna do it off camera. All right, so there is a little ground in there. Don't know why it's there, because it makes no sense, unless it's just an add-on wire. But when I pulled it up, it ripped it straight out. So I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not, but we spliced it back on. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but we spliced it, we shrunk it, and it's good. Now we're gonna op test it. Take this off in the meantime. Yeah, we're good. Sick. All right, I'm gonna bolt this thing up, then we'll check it out. All right guys, so that is basically it. That is all we're gonna do for this morning and I think it came out really good. So, yo, neighbors probably drive by wondering like what the hell I'm doing in here. But I'm just doing basic mods to this awesome Civic Si. But whew, look at that. Unfortunately, now with the trunk looking spectacular, the spoiler looks a lot less spectacular. And I don't know, we might just have to slap some wrap on the top of this guy but for now we're gonna leave it and it's cool it also brings out all the imperfections on this paint so this car is definitely gonna get something done i don't know should we wrap this car should we spray this car for now i'll probably learn how to wrap on this car but we'll see we'll see no promises wrap's expensive and as you guys seen what the i am not the greatest rapper but yeah the tent kind of sucks. I might 
have a day where I remove all the tint, get it prepped for ceramic tint because ceramic just feels amazing in Las Vegas is hot as F and it's a black car. But that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button, all right? If you guys like this video, did I already say that? Yeah, yeah. Nah, uh, whatever, I already messed up. Hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.